Moving on to our next report that's coming in from the Serbian capital, Belgrade, which was left in shock after a school shooting incident left eight children and a security guard dead. A 13-year-old opened fire on Wednesday at uh, Vladislav Ribnikar Primary School in central Belgrade in Serbia. Six children and a teacher have also been hospitalized in the incident. The teenager who attacked uh, uh, the school called the police himself and then surrendered before them. He also told the police that he has shot some people. On inquiry, it was also found that the accused drew sketches of classrooms and made a list of children he intended to target in a meticulously planned attack. The suspect is alleged to have used his father's guns, both of which had legal permits. He's also said to have gone to a school, in fact, a shooting range more than once with his father before these killings really took place. His father was also arrested, but he is yet to be charged. The motive of the shooting is still unclear. The case came in as a shock to Serbians, as no mass shootings have been reported at Serbian schools in the recent years. And thousands have gathered in Belgrade, in Serbia, to mourn with the families of the victims of the shooting, lighting candles and laying flowers in front of the school where this boy gunned down fellow pupils. My second class was on the top floor, so I was walking up the stairs, and while I was walking up, I could hear a sound and I thought it was maybe boys, some kids throwing firecrackers, and that they were having fun. But then I could hear it closer and the sound was coming from in front of the school. And then I saw the security guard falling to the ground, so I quickly ran from where I was. I didn't want to go upstairs anymore, I didn't know who was up there. I returned to where my department was and the teacher heard those sounds and she wanted to go and see it but I told her these were shots, that I've heard this and that the guard fell to the floor and we quickly got ourselves to a safe place. He was somehow quiet, he appeared nice and had good grades. I didn't know that much about him because he was not that open to everybody. I would never expect that this could happen. <laughs> They said you cannot pass, and I said, okay, just tell me which child it is. At first I thought there was one child killed, and then we found out it was more. And they said to me, we don't have this information, we cannot tell you. I said, please tell me, please tell me which child was killed so I know it is not my child. And she said, we cannot tell you, we will send a psychologist who will speak to you. I told them I didn't need that. I only need the name of the child. What do we must do today is firstly we must deal with caring for those who saw what happened and survived. All the children and employees who will bear the scar for the rest of their lives. And I expect from the Minister of Education to say how he will deal with each victim. Eight children unfortunately lost their lives as well as a member of a school security. Injured students and teachers are also hospitalized. No one can bring back children to their parents. Immediately after this event, members of the Belgrade police at the scene arrested the child. At the scene, the weapon with which the crime was committed with was found. Based on currently available information, the child planned this crime for a long time. We still haven't determined the motive and he didn't say what it was. He said himself that he planned to commit this crime. This is a list of children he planned to execute. He made a plan of how to enter and exit the school that was found at his desk. And like he said himself, he designated primary targets. It looks a little as if it's from a video game or a horror film, which indicates that he planned in detail how to enter which classroom and how to execute each child. The carcinogenic and deadly effect of internet and video games, so-called Western values, is evident. It's clear to all of us that we need a complete turnover, stricter measures and systematic solutions so that this tragedy doesn't become a socially acceptable model of behavior, like it's evident in some Western countries.
u društveno prihvatljiv model ponašanja. The reaction of the government is something I don't want to comment on because I'd end up using a lot of rude words. I'm extremely sorry and sad for the parents, the families and friends of the children who died. I hope something like this won't happen again and that this will be a warning to the citizens of Serbia that this can't happen again. Of course, for all the victories and defeats in a country, the government is responsible. This is a sad and disgusting story about the atmosphere that was created in Serbia and most of the responsibility for that lies with the government.